Launching a church plant is a lot of work. Right now, it's Sunday afternoon, January 14th, and we just had our first preview service at Mission Lakewood Church, and we're meeting at a high school in Lakewood, Colorado. In this video, I'm gonna tell you all about our process of getting everything ready for this first preview service, and I'm pretty sure you'll have some practical takeaways that you can apply to your worship and creative ministry. crisp, smooth, refreshing, and nobody really knows what's in it. This video is brought to you by LaCroix. Just kidding. What's up guys, it's Jake with churchfront.com, an online resource for worship leaders and creatives. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and you will receive all of our latest content to help you grow yourself and grow your church. Oh, and how do you guys like my cool sweatshirt? It says, wait a second. It says disciple, now that it's right side up. Do you notice how red my face was getting because all the blood was just like rushing to my head? And real quick before I go on, let me know where you're watching this from, what church you're at, what type of role you're in. I just want to get to know you better. I realize I'm creating all these videos and an increasing number of people are starting to watch them, but I want to make sure I know who you are. So always be sure to ask me any questions you have. I will do my absolute best to reply to you in a very short time. Or if you just want to say hey, just say hey. If you've been following my channel for any time now, you know that I've been helping launch Mission Lakewood Church. It's a church plant here in Lakewood, Colorado. We're meeting at Green Mountain High School. So yesterday we just spent for the first time setting up all the gear for worship and production and then also the kids ministry and the first impressions ministry. They all practice setting up all their stuff and tearing it back down. Um, you guys know how it is setting up gear, sound equipment, music equipment, lighting equipment. Uh, there's just a lot of moving parts and a lot that could go wrong. And and it, it's not perfect yet, but I was really pleased with the results of our setup yesterday and then our preview service this morning. So let me tell you about it. So yesterday I got the office in the morning and I made sure my car was packed up with a drum set and the piano and any other random equipment that I had here that we need to use at the church. Got packed up and then I headed off to Lakewood. Lakewood's about 20 minute drive for me. I'm down in Littleton, Colorado. When I got to the church, everybody was out in the parking lot. We had our U-Haul trailer filled with a bunch of gear and equipment there. And then what I did when I first got there is I actually took up my drone because I wanted to capture some footage that we could use for promotional material for the church. But we're trying to do a lot of work online to just build the church's online presence and, and do ads and stuff like that. So I wanted to capture some media that way. So I flew my drone up, got some great footage. Then I drove around to the back of the high school. We went to the loading doc where Darwin was. So Darwin's the lead pastor. He's actually the first person to ever hire, hire me twice for a role. He hired me for my my first like full-time worship leading role a couple of years ago and um, then we both quit at that church because we weren't really big fans of that church and then he went to go plant a church. I'm doing my own stuff but it's kind of fun our paths crossed again and I'm really en enjoying helping him out with a church plan. Both of us had such big dreams back when we were working together at an older established church that pretty much most of the time, it just, it just couldn't happen. You guys know how it is. Like, it, so it kind of got to the point where we're like, we were dreaming, back in the day we were all dreaming, like, man, it wouldn't be so nice to be a church plant, have our, like, have a blank slate to work with, and to, now we do. We got there, got kind of scoped out the space, everybody came in the auditorium, kind of laid out a game plan, and then we started moving in gear. Just simply, we unpacked the U-Haul trailer, got all that going. And just, just a little aside, I'm really impressed. I, my friend Kevin, uh, Kevin Reese, he's a mutual friend of Darwin. Um, he helped us get all this gear ready for this, the worship and tech ministry at this church. He's an executive pastor at a church in Broomfield, Colorado, and he is just a super knowledgeable guy. That's what his background has been in, is a lot of worship tech, church tech stuff. So he got, he built us a really quality, but also portable system to uh, use. And we're actually storing most of the gear at the school. Um, so. And we don't have to put it, you know, we're not trucking it in and out every single Sunday. We just had to unload it this first Sunday. We have a bunch of great flight cases. We got a bunch of lights, started measuring out where we're gonna put the trusses. And then we got our soundboard unpacked. We have the Midas M32 
mini or compact or, or whatever it's called. To run the lighting, we're using a software called My DMX 3.0. I think it's by American DJ. It's a great, simple software. You put it on your computer, then you have this little USB interface you plug into your computer. It sends the DMX signals to your lights. So we're, we're sending signals both to the house lights that are at the school, so we don't even use their board. And then we send another signal to our uh, LED lights that we have on the stage. Really awesome setup. It's, it's gonna be even better once I figure out the automation from Ableton to my DMX 3.0. And of course, I'll make an in-depth tutorial video on how to do that once I figure it out. I love this cool sound table we have where like the table, like the case, the cover of the case kind of folds out so you can have a little table to put your computers on. I thought that was really cool. I geek out about stuff like that. We got the big projector screen up. So we have a one big center screen. I think it's about 18 feet wide, 16 by nine. We kind of went the route of using this affordable projection fabric. It's okay. We're not sure if we like it. We might end up paying money for something that's just gonna look better. There's a little bit of sagginess going on in the screen on top. So throughout the whole day from nine to four, we spent about seven hours just getting everything up and running and working. And then last night, uh, Saturday night, I went home, I had to finish building my Ableton set. I had to get everything synchronized with Ableton and ProPresenter, um, that, cause I just, I like to automate all that stuff. So yesterday it was just a bunch of work of getting everything uh, up and running and ready to go. And then this morning we had our first preview service. So we had the whole launch team there. That was really exciting. When we got to the church in the morning, we finished up setting up some things like instrument wise. Um, and then once we ran through the music, unfortunately, Sarah, our assistant worship leader, she was so sick. She like was there for the beginning rehearsal, but she couldn't even sing or play anymore. So that was kind of a bummer. So it was just me and Tyler, our drummer, um, playing in the band with our tracks in the background. Uh, but in the end, it ended up sounding fine, sounded full, but I'm looking forward to future weeks. I'm going to kind of, I'm starting from kind of a solid core three-piece band and I'm gonna kind of build on as we go. With having tracks and stuff like that, I don't feel like I have to have a bass guitar player. I don't have to have a bunch of electric guitar parts. Um, I'd rather just have a strong three-piece band, keys, acoustic, and drummer, and then work from there. And then we did a we did a run of the worship service. We played through a couple songs. We didn't play all of them because Sarah, our other worship leader, was sick. Our children's pastor, who's the host, he got up and did his little spiel so we could practice that. And then Darvin uh, got up to give like a little mini sermon, really just kind of get us fired up about the church plant. Um, our tech guys were getting everything set to go on their end. A lot of the footage that you see here, I actually captured it because I'm gonna use it in some of the church's promotional uh, stuff online. So, because we need good photos and videos to use on our website. So rather than having the stock footage, we wanna use actual real live footage of the church plant itself. Hey, I was also really happy about using the worship backgrounds that I made. I think we have that big ginormous screen in the background um, and I was just really happy with the way those came out. In the end, we really couldn't have asked for a better first preview weekend at the church. I hope you enjoyed that little glance behind the scenes of what I'm working on in my ministry. And like I said, if you want a detailed list of all the gear that we're using at this church and the software and all the tools that I'm using in my worship ministry, you can download my worship ministry toolkit, which is the link below this video. It's nothing fancy. It's just really a spreadsheet where I've organized everything that we have and there's quick links to all the gear. I'm feeling great about our launch Sunday here, two Sundays from now on June. January 28th. So like I already mentioned, you can download that free toolkit. Let me know where you're watching from, just so I know you guys better. I, I feel like you guys see my life and my ministry on this channel, but I just wanna hear more about who you are, what you're up to. And then again, ask me any questions you have about worship or creative ministry and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Make sure you subscribe to the Church Front channel, share it with all your worship leading friends so it can help their ministry as well. And please hit that thumbs up button if you found this video helpful.